So Kojo, Danae, and Rachel spent the morning four wheeling through the bush with my dad. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. We rode on, like, I drove. We drove on the rocks. I feel like a like, boss. Yeah. Like need for speed, like hardcore. Awesome. <laughs> so if you don't go that fast, because you would die. But yeah. it's still really cool. <laughs> and now we're getting ready how, to go to the heads? beach and go hiking. So we're yeah, just packing like lunches. Sure. Look at this setup. Yummy! Yay. Rachel, show me what you packed for lunch. Thanks, Wendy. You're the best <laughs> so ever. So far. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Like a mouse. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later. What's up? What's up, world changers? We're here, there's mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> it's a little bumpy. Yeah, it's a little bumpy. Excuse the camera quality. There's Rachel. Hey. So, Kojo and Danae and Tamara are in the other car in front of us, but we're going on a big adventure. Yeah, we have today hacked another and Monday fun day. Yes, and if you want to know why I'm wearing a tiara, I have no answer for you, so. <laughs> Other than we're just going to call me Queen Bee, okay? Yeah. Yeah, so we are going, uh, we have a bunch of places to go, uh, just touristy stuff. We're going to go to a chocolate factory, candy store, beach, trading post. Um, we're going to go to a uh, native, native church. church. Um, it is an interesting church. Uh, Mom was just telling us a bit about it. It is native and Catholic. Um, basically just mix together native and to reach the, the natives, natives to reach yes. the natives yeah. yeah yeah so pretty interesting we just kind of want to go see what it looks like um yeah. i don't know it's cool to see different things like that so we'll probably vlog a little bit when we go in there and everything else for the day so we just want to update you guys on where we're at what we're doing okay we're at the indian catholic church whoa oh my god So Tamara, you want to explain to us why it's round and why it looks like this? Um, so traditional native meetings were in circles. That's how they would sit when they'd have stories and things like that and tell their history. So that's why they sit in the circles. Um, this is a deer pelt that was shot by the priest. Um, wow. And you can see the bullet holes. There's one there and one there. Wow. Um, a lot of the stuff that's that's around here is traditional, like native religion. So we've got the tortoise, which represents life, in the baptismal tank. Wow. And then. So they're mixing the Catholic tradition. Yeah, they're mixing. It's it's like mixing syncretism. Together. It's called syncretism. So they're mixing two religions into one. So. Are there special designated people that sit over here? Um, I don't think it's necessarily on that. But there's the four dream for five six like north, east, west. Yeah, and each color represents. Quick disclaimer obviously, we don't practice that religion or whatever. We are beliefs. We're very beliefs, interested yeah. in learning about other cultures. Yeah, it's just very interesting to see yes. and to learn about other things. And um, But just disclaiming that obviously, we don't practice that. <laughs> Goodbye. Ooh. Ooh, candy Ooh. store. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> so good. They sell the flamingo floaties. How white girl can we get? Oh so we want some chocolate covered insects. No. Oh my gosh. This is too much.
stay church sightseeing. We're going to see another cool church. <laughs> The boat church. That's awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> it's a boat pulpit. Boat thing. Letting the church know we were here. World Changers Productions. Going home. Okay, don't answer me. Hey, World Changers. We're just here on the Chichimon. Everybody say hey. Uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> We're exhausted. We're heading home finally, which is pretty exciting. Everybody's pretty ready to go, but it was such a good weekend. Yeah. You guys gotta make a trip up to Manitoulin Island. Yeah. It's the view. Let's check a look. Take a look. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that. Show you the world. <laughs> Shiny shimmer. <laughs> changers that is Cass here and I am just sitting outside hanging out I think I'm gonna take the night off of the services at the revival tonight I'm not feeling the greatest as you can tell it's about 27 degrees outside and I am wearing a winter hat so that kind of explains my life but I also just wanted to touch quickly on the two-part Manitoulin trip you guys just watched really really hope you enjoyed watching those um, on the Monday on the way home we were all so exhausted so we didn't really film anything saying that we were home and that we were done but we made it home safely we had so much fun and we all just really needed that weekend away so I really really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you to Wendy and Daryl for uh, opening your home to us I know that can get a little crazy <laughs> with all of us there so thank you so much we love you guys so anyways I quickly want to transition into um, my weekly word and today I just really want to encourage you guys to really push into your personal relationship with God. I'm not really going to go into depth about things, but you know, I feel like sometimes when you really get busy and you're working and you're doing like you're doing stuff with your friends and you may have a boyfriend or girlfriend or like a husband or wife or kids or whatever the situation may be, sometimes it's really difficult to actually keep up with your personal relationship with God. And you might go to church, you might do that, but that personal relationship with God is so important. So basically, I just want to read something that I wrote down in my journal quickly the other day that really stuck out to me saying, um, having a personal relationship with God means we should include God in our everyday lives. We should pray to him, read his word, and meditate on verses in an effort to get to know him better, which is true because he did create you and he knows your heart and he knows you, but it is great to know him also you want to know him on a personal level because you want to be able to know how he talks to you and when he does if it's him or what it's what it is you know like stuff like that so basically it is so important I just want to really challenge you guys to push into that personal relationship with him spend an hour every day before bed even journaling and wish, like listening to worship music and just praying and talking to him or finding 10 minutes in the car I know Vanessa really does that a lot on her way to work she will put some worship music on and she'll really just press into that relationship with God and pray for some people and do that so I really 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 want to encourage you guys to do that I'm not feeling great like I said today so I hope this was good I made it quick and I want to kind of get back in bed and go to sleep early tonight so I will see you guys on Sunday in our next vlog we've already been getting up to a lot of stuff <laughs> a lot of fun stuff so stay tuned and we'll see you then bye